the woman that plays the victim role is toxic as well, right? Because anytime a woman tries to use her feelings, start crying or um, get mad just to get you to do what they want you to do, that is toxic and it's manipulation, right? Like if a chick, oh, I want you to go out tonight because, you know, the last time I felt alone and you didn't text me and, you know, this and that, you know, that type of woman. And I realized, God damn, women will disrespect you 10 times. You check them once and they play victim. You check them once and, and you're the bad guy. You're the big meanie. And I realized that women will whine and whine and whine. And I'm not even saying I've never done this in my life. I probably have, but we live in a society that men can never check women for their behavior without being called toxic, manipulative, controlling. So it's funny because they used to kind of trigger me when I would watch them until I I got red-pilled and I realized they're right about a lot of things. I tell you why women like to play victim more times, yeah? They want to play victim so they have a, sto a victim story to tell the next right. victim that they're going to do. Yes, diva still. Bro, they're gonna they're gonna victimize another man and play that victim story. That's mm -hmm. what a girl done with me, bro. Mm -hmm. The girl said, "Oh, my ex was abusive. He made me have mental health." And then as I'm starting to get to know, her, I'm like, no, nah. no, no, you're the one who tried to give him mental health. He was a problem. I can see the whole Facts. picture, but then I was too late. I was too deep in. I can't say that now because I'm gonna look mad. Most women are made up of 100 grams of action, zero grams of accountability. All choices, no accountability. They choose to get ran through because they are sexually excited, curious, and it's fun to them until it's not anymore. Then they feel bad about it, so they do the easiest thing they can do to make themselves feel better about it. Play the victim, effectively absolving themselves of all accountability for the choices that they so willingly made while inspiring the man's innate desire to protect and provide so that she is saved with princess treatment, respect, validation, and of course, the much needed emotional support. Put simply, she's not a diamond in the rough. She's a con artist, a scammer, a dating market crook, who should not be rewarded for her deception. She should be punished. Certain actions come with certain consequences. Why should she be the exception? Don't let their charm fool you, gentlemen. Don't let their beauty blind you of their darker ways. Stop settling for mediocre. I don't care if in the modern dating market, mediocre is the majority. Never settle. We are men. We set the standards and raise the bars. No excuses. Know the game and play it well.